Hello, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Um, we're on day three of spring on a brand new farm. I made a mistake recording day two, so we don't get any evidence of day two having ever existed. <laughs> but, um, you didn't miss much. I basically just farmed a little bit and then fished and fishing all day and listening to me ramble about like whatever is not the most entertaining stuff in the world so you know what like it's fine it's fine also i noticed and we'll make a note of this but i was stretching my neck like this a lot and it just looks really funky especially when i did it in the middle of uh saying things <laughs> so i'm gonna try not to do that so much so it doesn't look as weird. There is nothing in my house. Very empty. Empty, empty house. Oh, I should probably be watching the TV now that I think of it. We must check the fortune. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you come to the right place. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best. To make your life difficult. Good to know. I think it's Tuesdays that we get to find out um, new recipes. New recipes. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day. Well, that's good. I was hoping for a rainy day. So we would avoid watering all of these things one by one. <laughs> Maybe today will be a mining day so that we can get some copper. I forget how you're supposed to fight things without a sword. Because I don't think that you can go to the adventurers guild yet, but we can check. Let's see if we can get a beginner sword. Kill some slimes. So I think this will be the last. <gasps> Wait a minute. Who filled the cat's water bowl? What the heck? Why is it full? I didn't fill that. This is this is all a lie. What is happening? Okay. Uh. Anyway, as I was saying, I think this will be the last non-modded Stardew episode because i think that stardew is a lot more fun with mods especially if you've played it as much as i have played it without them i just think it'll make this experience more interesting but i will be just using aesthetic mods and not um like cheat mods like hack mods for the most part so anyway if you're interested in modded experience that's what the next episode should be but we started off without them, so I'm gonna keep going for one more day. Oh, what? I don't remember this happening. I thought you could go, could go to the mine right away. What the heck? What the heck? So many little surprises. I know that from the launch, since the launch, there have been some updates, but I don't know how much has actually changed and how much I just don't know. Don't remember happening. Because I guess unless someone tells you about the mine, how would you find it on day four? Let's see if the community center is still locked. Or as I like to call it, the community center. <laughs> it's still locked. So, I guess we can buy some seeds with the small amount of money we've accumulated. <gasps> Ooh, that's not as expensive as I expected. Hmm. Please purchase my horseradish, Pierre. And then I will look at your wares. What do you have? We want parsnips, probably. Maybe potatoes? Hmm. 
Off the top of my head, I think that kale, beans, and parsnips are the best. Let's start some beans. Six beans, eight beans. Let's do eight beans and fifteen more parsnips because we had fifteen already. So now it will be an even thirty parsnips. Let's see what this is. I would like some quartz under my pillow. Please deliver it today. Well, I'd accept your quest, except that I cannot mine. So I don't know how I would get the quartz for you. That's so strange. How do I unlock mining? Oh, we haven't met Penny yet. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Penny does not like to talk to you very much at first. We just have to keep talking to her. Keep talking to her. I do really want to unlock the inventory expansion soon, but I think that we need seeds badly enough to spend all our money. Especially since it's early in the season and it's a really good time to start beans. Since beans like keep making beans once they start making beans, but you can only have them for the duration of the season, so. It is best to start them as soon as you can. Uh, I bet I still don't have a sap fertilizer recipe. No, I do not. I don't know how I got any of these things. It's probably mostly just like... Um accidental like the game probably just leads you right into it hopefully bloop, bloop, bloop. I really want some copper though I bet mm, I know Clint sells it but I don't think we could buy enough with 700 coins oh oh also I was gonna move myself over to this side Boop, boop. Because you can't see my energy. Now you won't be able to see the profile pictures of people as much, but, you know, that's okay. Beans are next. I'm watering everything except the thing I mean to water. <laughs> Okay, beans, beans. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. We'll put one here. That way they're spaced with one in the middle so they're easy to get to because you can't walk through them like you can with other crops. Understandable because there's a giant metal... metal wooden stick in the middle of each of them. Get in there. Ugh. We need some water. I guess I'm just gonna have to go talk to everybody until someone tells me how to get into the mine because we kind of need to do that. Like, we can either mine or we can fish. Excuse me, but fishing is really boring when it's the only thing you're doing. I think fishing is a really good thing to do in this game if you are also watching a show or like something else. We have to get off the watering can. I'm just gonna water everything. Okay. So many daffodils. What the heck? So many. At least they stack. There was something else over here. 
A dandelion. Okay. I'm going to sell those before we walk into town just so that if I need to buy beer for somebody, we have inventory space. Wait, I want that. Boop, boop. Put away materials. Okay. Grow strong, little beans. Become big and valuable. The bar is probably not very packed right now because it's 4 p.m. on a Thursday. We could... Hey, hey, hey! Abigail! We haven't met Abigail yet. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving onto that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, you'll just have to come hang out in the, like freshly tilled farmlands instead. How rude. Oh my gosh. Hi, Caroline. Hmm, I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner for us tonight. Can you let me out, please? Thank you. Hmm, I saw somebody else walking, but I don't remember. There's Penny again, but she won't talk to us again today. Hello, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Excuse me. We met Pam, I think. Blah. I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Evelyn. That's this lady's name. Evelyn. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Aw, that's sweet and reminds me a lot of Spirited Away. <laughs> George, humph, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? I mean, I don't know, it was okay. Name's George, by the way. No, buzz off. Humph. Why are you so grumpy? I never befriended Evelyn. Well, I kind of befriended her. I think I went up to like four or five stars but george is so grumpy i just left him alone maybe in this reality we can be friends with george do they have separate rooms wait i don't remember if there's a kid that lives here like alex or something hello shane what do you want leave me alone okay bye Hello, Avarith. Hello, Elliot. Are you well? I guess. I guess I'm well, even though I can't go to the mine. And my fishing bar is really, really tiny and I can barely catch any fish. But it's fine. Um... Ooh, there's Sam. Hello, Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. That's it. Okay, bye, Sam. I guess we could go to the Joja Mart. I think it's open like 24-7 or something ridiculous and insane and unhealthy. Just like Safeway. <laughs> Join us, thrive, oh my gosh. Let's see what this guy says. Welcome to Joja Mart, how are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja, customer service satisfaction representative. When you decide you wanna become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Something I didn't catch on my first play of this, my first and kind of only play, I've played a few other games with like friends, but in the beginning, you work for Joja, just at like a corporate office. So that's funny. Why don't you know that I used to work for jo Joja? But I left it all behind to start a farm. Oh my gosh, are you fenced in there? Oh, ew, ew, that's how you buy stuff? 
Gross. I've never bought anything from here. Everything is more expensive. What the heck? I thought your deal was like having really inexpensive things, but okay. Okay, Joja Mart, goodbye. We can probably go to the bar now. There will be a few people there at least because it's almost eight. Do, 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 do. Food and spirits. Oh, <laughs> there's like no one here. Okay. Hello. Where is everybody? Buy a Joja Cola? No. Oh, here's here's Clint. Hi, Clint. Er, hi. I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Nice to meet you, Clint. Beer is expensive. Whew. I can only buy one beer. Should I buy someone a beer? I hope you're farming in a sustainable way. The valley's ecosystem is fragile. That is a valid concern, Emily. Thank you for that. Hey, you look like you could use a beverage. Thank you, Gus. I'm okay, though, because I have no money. But... Ah! I just spilled my real-life beverage. <laughs> oh, no! Why did that happen? Gus cursed me. Gus was like, I think you could use a beverage, and apparently I couldn't use a beverage. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go home. I don't know what to do. How do I unlock mining? How do I live my life? Oh, my dog is snoring. So, I complained about this a lot already in the first episode, I think. It's been a couple days since I recorded it, but... Man. I'm just not used to not having things since I had all the things in my, my other farm. I just, like, worked on it until it was really big and beautiful and fully developed. And then I just kept playing it because... It was nice to have everything, you know? Ooh, foraging experience. We get axe proficiency, trees drop seeds, field snack. Cool, cool. Hmm. I didn't feel like it would be as fun to play on my old farm for this, though. Is this like a new project? Gotta have a new farm for a new project, right? To our valued Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to initiative L61091 Joja Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused, and as always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja Customer Service, Customer Satisfaction Representative. Well, that's good. We can mine now. We didn't even know about that, apparently. Uh, advancement? Oh, I haven't looked at any of these yet. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes, increase profit, and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Raising animals. Robin lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or a barn so that you can raise animals. Wait, it says a coop or a barn, but it only says build a coop as the quest. Okay. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on the soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready. Oh my gosh. Probably should have looked at these sooner. 
It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. We have nine people that we haven't introduced ourselves to yet. Soon. Soon. We get some parsnip money. Very exciting. I accidentally bought a Joja Cola. <sighs> I'm gonna take those just in case I want to eat them in the mine. Because I think that's what we'll do today. We could also save up materials to build a coop. But we probably need a lot of materials. Like 200 wood is my rough estimate. So today it makes sense that the water bowl is filled because it's raining, but it didn't make sense for it to be filled yesterday. Very mysterious. Also, I'm just going to poke my head back in the house because I still have not seen that cat. Like, where is the cat? Isn't there supposed to be a cat somewhere? Where is the, where's the cat? Oh, no, I don't think you have it right away. I think somebody brings it to you after, like, the first week. Yeah, that's what happens. So I've been filling up the bowl, but there's no animal to drink out of it, so maybe that's why it was full. That would make sense. <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Should probably drop the field tuft. I don't know how to use words. What is that called? Fiber? Fiber piece? Let's see what the actual name is. It's just fiber. <laughs> field tuft. Gotta have inventory space for mining. Oh, hello, adventurer person. Hmm. After this, we'll have eight people to introduce ourselves to. Marlin says, I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. There's no way you haven't gone down there, Marlin. Don't lie to me. Here, take this. You might need it. Oh, we do get a beginner sword. Well, that's good. You received a rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Oh, what an honor that would be. Oh, the elevator does exist. But you can't use it till you hit five. Okay. Let's see if we can hit five. Uh, I'm gonna move that real quick. It's just... What? Put that there. Yeah. And I am gonna throw away the fiber preemptively. Just in case we need the space, which we probably will. This is exciting though, we can get copper so that we can fix our tools because they are not good. They're not good at all. Oh wow. That took a long time. <laughs> copper! Woo! So relaxing. I wonder when the monsters start to appear. Hello? Oh! Rock. Fraud. Gosh. Don't you know it's wrong to commit rock fraud? I guess I have to eat something so we can take that carrot with us.
is there any more copper? Was that it? Sometimes those barrels have copper. Occasionally. Ooh, it's dark. I need a glow ring. Um, time to eat something else so I can pick up the geode. Geode could be cool. Oh, we get a little we found a geode thing. You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Who knows? Ooh, a quartz! That was yesterday's task, though. I don't know if it's still available. Um, I don't want this. Just put that right there. Did I kill the thing? <gasps> it killed the shell! Oh, I don't even want to kill it anymore. Oh, look at that poor baby! Oh my gosh! I've literally never done that to one of those before. Look how helpless. Look at that little babe. Who could kill such a little babe? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna accidentally kill it by trying to slice open that box, so I'm just gonna walk away. I'm not gonna be a jerk. It doesn't deserve to die. Okay, let's see. Slice the box now. Why? Why is there wood in a box? Because the box is made out of wood? That's absurd. Is there a ladder, like, anywhere, please? Because I would like to leave this sad little baby crab thing all alone to do its business. I don't want to accidentally kill it. I will actually feel so bad. I don't even want to kill them ever again. <laughs> Not even the ones that are in rocks. Ladder! We are so close to level 5. So close. Oh, and another thing that I thought I would mention about like this model experience. If you ever see me just sitting here like... You know, like that. <laughs> it's because I am a mouth breather. And it's because I have chronic allergies. Which I'm not sure is a real thing or not, but... You know, they never go away completely, so I kind of just lived my life breathing through my mouth. So... There's that. But anyway... <laughs> hopefully... We find more copper. Because seven pieces is not a whole lot of copper. I just want some more copper. I just want more copper. Copper, copper, copper. Please! I guess we're done with the copper. Unless level five has some. Random copper from a normal rock. I accept. Yay! It seems the mine elevator is still functional. It will allow you to quickly return to any elevator doors you've discovered. A deeper expedition might be in order. Reach level 40 in the mines. Copper? I used to think it was these golden colored rocks. Maybe it is. That are the ones that can drop copper and not like this one or this one. I don't know if that's actually true. But. Wow, that did nothing. Just about. I just want more copper. So I can fix my watering can, because it's so bad. Is there any more copper? Copper. Ah, uh, I guess we'll leave. It's time to go socialize. With the town. 
and stuff. With the money that I don't have to buy beer for everybody. Someday. I think part of the reason that, like, I always found streaming and, like, breathing to be very difficult when I wasn't using a model is probably because of the mouth breathing thing. Like, because I feel really weird mouth breathing publicly. Like, I have to pretend that I'm not a mouth breather. <laughs> so, I don't know why I'm just now having a moment of clarity in that regard, but... Anyways, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. I guess it's Friday. It's a good bar day. Saloon evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. Well, let's go pick up that quest if it's still there so that I can get credit for that. I don't know if it is. They usually last two days, though. Let's see. Oh, no! <laughs> Ugh. It might be two days once you pick it up. Like a full day and the next day. But you have to pick it up. Maybe that's it. Because I didn't pick it up. Because I didn't think that I'd be able to mine. Ugh. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you, Leah. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Leah's really cool because she's like bonded with nature and she tells you about like naturey things like how she has a little garden for food in her yard or things like that i think that's pretty chill pretty chill let's sit with willie while i sip a real life beverage Ugh. i need a little warm me up to be ready for another cold night on the ocean Lily, why can't you put heating in your house? Shouldn't you be, like, providing food for the whole town because you're, like, the only person that fishes? <laughs> why don't you have heating in your house? Hello, Harvey. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? I wish I had less work to do. <laughs> Harvey, um, will tell you that he wishes he has less work to do. And then we'll tell you in the winter that he wishes he had more work to do. I guess that's life. Don't I have work to do, Shane? A puff. A puff, puff. I already did my work. I planted some seeds. And I whacked some rocks. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Uh, no, I want to talk to Sam. Oh my gosh, nothing like an ice-cold Joja Cola on a sopping wet day. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I feel like you should, you know, have some tea or a coffee or something warm. Oh, we're meeting Sebastian. You just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? That's fair, Sebastian. That's fair. Abigail usually hangs out with them, but not today, I guess. Not today. Did we talk to Willie? Oh, oh. He told us he doesn't have heating in his cabin for some reason. Ah, spring. The season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Is there a jewel tone season? Would that be summer? Like... Oh, excuse me, I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Oh, we're talking about clothes. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, we kind of talked to everybody now. I guess we could leave. Do we have, oh, that's the wrong button, a recipe for an ingot maker, a forge, something like that? We don't have that recipe. I bet you'll get it if you increase your mining skill. 
something like that. I've decided, like, to keep these, uh, sessions, episodes, a little more bite-sized than when I was first posting videos on YouTube with, like, three or four hour long VODs from my stream. I just feel like 30 minutes is a really good, so it's already a pretty long video, so I think we'll go to bed. Let me sell the quartz. Do we want to sell the quartz? Maybe I'll keep it. We might need it for a quest. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Thank you for being interested in gaming VTuber relaxing, hopefully, content from me. Um, I will see you soon for episode 3, which will be a modded episode and we'll see if we like the mods i'm gonna pick out some like aesthetic ones that i like that are uh medieval themed and such so if you're interested in that please keep your eyes peeled for the next episode see you soon peace